Hello my friends, I would like to share with you today some exclusive dies by the Stamps of Life made for us by Sizzix. Now, the first one I'd like to share with you, some of our Die Hard members have already been sent because Die Hard Club members get this die, sent, die set sent to them on the first of the month. And it is the spinner dies that coordinate with our spinner to stamp stamp set. So if you're not a Die Hard Club member, you can now purchase this on our website. And it's really fun because it cuts out this whole piece here. It cuts out a larger circle, all the little icon pieces, the birthday cake, the birthday hat, the candle, and the uh, present. And then it has the little arrow die and then also the pie shape to go on the inside. So that is now available on our website. Yay! Now the other two exclusive die sets are so much fun. Let's do this one first. This one is fun. Sometimes you just need more banners. We've been doing a lot with banners lately. We have banners for Genie. We have the little dies that match the alphabet banners. Now these banners will coordinate with those dies. So these dies are just separate. They have the little hearts cut out. So this one has a triple heart and this one has a single heart. I just thought it'd be fun to have a little bit more. Now these can be used as shadows for these or separately on their own. So you're really getting four dies, but these two coordinate or you can mix and match and you can have lots of fun with those and I have great samples. Now the next exclusive die set is so much fun because it is an array of multiple random mini flowers. This is the mini flower set. Now yours is not gonna look like this when you get it. It's gonna be all jumbled at the bottom because we taped this down so you could so I could move it during the video. But yours is gonna come with a multitude of flowers, random flowers between 12 and 16 in the package. So you're gonna get all just an array of different random flowers, and they're so much fun. Some have little heart uh, little pieces cut out, some don't, some you can emboss or deboss, and lots of fun like that. And I'm gonna show you how fun these are to use. So let's look at these really quick, these banners and the flowers. I'm gonna bring over my Big Shot. These dies will work in any machine that takes the wafer thin dies, okay? But if you have a Big Shot or Big Kick or a Big Shot Pro or a Vagabond, you get to use my best friend, the magnetic platform, which is fabulous. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna use some of our new felt. Now this is wool felt. This is not felt that you can buy at the craft store. This is a little bit more expensive and you can check out the prices on our website. Club members, you do get a club discount. But it's, it's something special about it, which it allows you to die cut these, um, these dies. Now, just for fun, if you want to, go spend 29 cents at the big craft stores, buy a little tiny piece of felt, try to run it through, you'll be pulling and uh, but it's only a waste of 29 cents, so you can at least see. You can see that this is different. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lay these all down and just line those up any which way I want because it doesn't matter. And you can kind of, you can't, you, I'm sure you can't hear it, but they're snapping to that. Now this is gonna show you how fantastic this magnetic platform is. Look at that. I'm moving that around. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Not going anywhere. So that's through felt and a cutting pad. That's how fantastic this magnetic platform is. If you only buy one thing in your entire lifetime of crafting, magnetic platform, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Now, if I was a better crafter, and this is freaking me out already, I would get those dies a little closer to each other to save on some of this felt, because that was ridiculous what I just did. We need to conserve. That was nuts. Okay, so that makes me feel better. Okay, we wanna conserve. Okay, so now I feel better. We're gonna run that through. Now on felt, you, this is not necessary, but because I still have to turn it either way to get it all the way out, I just go back the same way, just to make sure I get a perfectly clean cut. Again, it is not necessary. So I'm gonna run that through. So let's start with the ones that aren't as exciting. So look how cute that is. Look at how clean, look at the ink. <laughs> look at how clean that is. You can't get a better edge than that. Okay, so there's one. And we'll do the other, look at how cute, oh my goodness, they're so adorable. Okay, then let's do a flower, look at that, isn't that beautiful? It, this, this is just the perfect reason why you have to have felt. And then we're gonna get this one out, and this one is a cute little flower too. Now, if you're using these little flowers to cut cardstock, you're gonna wanna use your paper piercer to poke it out. The felt I could just grab with my fingers, but you're gonna have to do some poking with your paper piercer. If you're not getting success with that, 
use wax paper in between your cardstock, then your wax paper, then your dye, and then they'll pop out easier. So if you're having problems with that, try your paper piercer first. If not, use wax paper, okay? So now I'm gonna get this, oh, this one's cute. And this one, look, you can, oh, you can kind of see it embossed that a little tiny bit. Embossed or cut out, I can't tell. It looks like, oh, it looks like it cut out. So if I got my paper piercer out, I could literally, this is insane. Look how amazing that is. It punched out those little tiny pieces right there. Fabulous. Now remember, you might not get the exact flowers that I have. You're gonna have your own array between 12 and 16 flowers, okay? So there's another cute one with little cutouts. And let's, oh, look at these banners. Oh my goodness, aren't these fun? Look at those little hearts, perfectly cut out. Beautifully cut out, I love that. And then last but certainly not least, we have this one. And of course we have a little heart to do whatever we want with, and then here's our cute little banner there. So if I would have done this banner in a different color, I can layer that on top of each other, just exactly the same, so I could have a different color on the inside. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so let me show you some of my samples that my design team has created, now that I'm done playing. So here's a cute one by Anna that's using our chocolate bunny stamp with all of those beautiful cardstock cutout flowers. I love that. Oh, look at this one. This one's by Anna also, and she used the felt. Look how pretty. She sprinkled some glitter on there as well. Just randomly put those banners down. I love it. Oh, this one's by Anna also. Look at those beautiful flowers just because. Who's, oh, Anna again. Anna fell in love with these banners. Look at how beautiful those banners are. Make a wish. This looks a little Christmassy if you ask me. Here's another one by Anna. Look at those banners just strewn all, strewn all around that card. I love it. Oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how cute that onesie is with all those beautiful flowers by Anna as well. Now, oh, here's a fun stand-up card. This one is by Christine. Happy birthday. And we can stand that up. And I love that. Isn't that great with all our little flower dies cut out? Oh, here's a beautiful one using the felt, happy anniversary. And this one's by Christine. Oh, I think this is a Helen. Yep, this is Helen. <laughs> how are you? And with our square, original square flip it, and look at how she made that cute little banner out of those little flowers. So adorable. I love that. Oh, here's a beautiful one. This one's by Laura Williams, and she just stamped my friend and used vellum. Isn't that beautiful for those flowers? Ooh, look at this one. This one's by Laura as well. Whole bunch of just beautiful white flowers. White on white looks beautiful. Oh, here's a good one by Laura. Hello, she used our phrase dies and stamps, and then a lot of little flowers. Our design team loved the little flowers. I'm sure you will too. Here's one by Christine using some felt in those beautiful flowers. Ooh, now this, wow, who did this? Helen, knocking my socks off again. Look at what she did here. She took all these dies, laid them down on a piece of scrap, uh, cardstock, die cut them, and used the kind of like the trash, the negative part. And she added little buttons to the inside. So it'd be like if I made this look cute and put this on the card and use this instead of the cutout flowers. So then she could use the cutout somewhere else. Oh, here's a cute one. This one's by Helen, Bundle of Joy, with all those beautiful flowers with some brads. What color are those brads? Those look like guava brads. Oh, here's a cute one. This one's by Christine. She's my sewer. She likes to do sewing with some felt flowers. And oh, last but certainly not least is a beautiful card by Anna with some mini flowers. Now make sure you check out the design team gallery because we have tons of other ideas in our gallery on our website. Club members, make sure you add your club discount code so you get the club discount. If you're not a club member, please check out the club member page. We have two different clubs. We have the Stamp Club and the Die Hard Club, which the Die Hard Club already dun -dun -dun -dun, has this probably in their hot little hands by now. So you would have gotten it a lot sooner before it's released on our website, the club dies. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.